may this practice of the, the air element give us inspiration and creativity in our life, and the strength and the playfulness. One of the things with, with tension is it, it tightens, starting in the legs and hips, and pulls up and closes the throat, okay? So we want to really have a nice kind of ah feeling. Okay, let's try it. Ah, yeah, good. Again. Ah, yeah, good. And, and Jayan is doing this already automatically, okay? Not that he has a lot of tension, but whatever baby tension is there, and just to hold a relation to earth and gravity. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, good, okay. Yeah, that's it. Then starts the first pose of the cosmic eight. Inhaling, coming up with the arms, like seaweed floating in the, in the sea. Exhaling and, and gently down. That's it. Good. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And see, find that, that ease and trust where the arms just kind of float and, and almost move by themselves. So it's not like we're, we're struggling in the shoulders. It's very light. sense the air elements it's as though you're kind of in a in a bubble of some sort and you're just kind of floating up and down the presence of, of air on the hands and arms and chest and then step two is inhaling and opening in one breath and exhaling softening down Inhaling up to shoulder height and open wide. Exhaling, softening down. Deep, smooth breath. Okay, this is to deepen the, the breath, to open the chest and lungs. Here on these last few, to feel the stretch across the inner arms and chest, that nice opening through fingertip to fingertip. Good. And resting down. Good exhalation. Feel that strong effect. You may feel a little more lightness, huh? Coming, so be sure to stay connected, stable, feeling the ground, feeling the feet. This next one, have a look just so you see. It's good to get the, the imprint. I'm going to turn my feet open, and I'm using my knees 
and the feet to kind of press and shift the weight. That's a very martial artsy sort of feeling about it. So one arm is straight out from the, the shoulder. It's easy to kind of lose it down. Okay? We're, keeping it, we're keeping it there. Okay? And the upper arm is, is coming over like a nice arc over the body. Then I press and exhale. This is called waltzing with the clouds. Okay? So there's three in the waltz. It's like one, two, three, one, two, three. So you up. Three. Let's start together. Up. Okay, good. Up. And so we're on the same page. Bending the right knee, dropping the left arm down to shoulder height, right arm coming over. Look down the arm, left arm. Right. Press into the right foot, coming up. Inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee. Look down the right arm. That's it, good. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Press down, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Good. You're feeling that infinite strength in the arms and legs. Opening the sides. Timing, coordination, gracefulness, strength. That's good. It's like the, the warrior asana, but fluid. One more time. Inhaling up, center. Keeping the feet open, legs a little wider apart. Exhale, and we come scooping down water, fresh spring water, and inhale, bringing the water up and open. See the hands, palms facing out. Okay, part the clouds and exhaling. Coming down. So first waltzing, and then we part. It's like the cycle of water, it lifts up into the Clouds, they part, the rain comes back down, cooling. And we take up that fresh spring water up into the body and the face, cooling. I like to imagine that I, I've just found a fresh spring water in the forest. And I say, ah, get that water, mm, take it in. Next time we're up to the heart, and just toe heel your feet. Exhale. Relax, slightly bending the knees, keeping the front pockets soft. Feel the weight go through the bones. Learn to really rest in the skeleton. Muscles relaxing on the bones, bones relaxing on the earth. Stable frame. Opening your eyes, have a look here. I'll show you again, just a little detailing here. Okay, so on this one, I'm going forward with my hands, nice and bright, open. So really stretching outer arm, inner arm, okay? Right hands. And then I bring the fingers to the thumb. I draw back the right arm, 
opening. Actually, I keep that one. Comes over like a cobra, okay, and swooping down as it comes forward, the other one back. Twist. Okay, so we're getting this, this nice twisting across the torso and power in the hands and arms. So it's a very strengthening feeling to it. Nice. Okay, so feet maybe wider than your mat. It's a good distance. Okay, and bending the knees, softening. That's it, starting with the hands in front, nice and bright, open. That's it, inhale. Exhale, bring the right fingers to the right thumb. Draw back across the chest, look back. Inhale, the cobra comes up and swoops down in front. Exhale, right arm opens, left arm pulls back all the way, looking back. Inhale, left arm up and over. Exhale, coming forward as the right arm comes back. That's the transition. Inhaling up. Exhaling, good. And continue. You'll find that exchange of the one arm forward, the other one back. Good. Let, let your hand be very bright, open, alive. Alive through the fingertips. That's it. If you have any superhero fantasies, now's your chance, okay? You shoot a ray out through your hand, like that. Okay, there you go. Okay. Especially if you're a fire person, you know, let's shoot a ray of heat out the hand to release. Yeah. Strengthening, toning the arms. And exhale, coming back to center. Keep the front pocket soft. Inhale, we open. Next one. Inhaling up. Touching your middle fingers and then bringing the hands in front like a, like a cloak, like you're putting over a nice magic covering over you. Inhale, turn the thumbs outward and up. Inhale. Touching the middle fingers. Huh? Take some coordination. And then you're looking to the palms as the hands come down. That's it. Just visualize a nice protective layer. It has to come also from the inside. The person, but these Qigong masters, they don't have a certain uh, like field, like a very big, strong magnetic field. It's like a like a shield. You know, so nobody's just going to come stumbling in and hit them and knock them over. No way. No way. They're, for one, grounded, but also they have this, this magnetic shield that are emanating from the body. Huh? A lot, a lot, very strong, pranic field. What we see with the eye is a body that finishes at the skin. More subtle perception is an energetic body that expands beyond the skin. And these kind of movements we help that stretching the field. And we exhale down next time you come in front, just bringing the hands to the, below the navel here as a nice grounding point. Check your knees and hips. <sighs> Feel the effects. Close the eyes. Stable, steady. Some 
Sometimes at this point, just to rest the back a little bit and bring the feet together and just take a forward bend. It's not part of the cosmic series to say, but uh, I feel it's a, it's a benefit just to let your spine and have a little rest. Yeah. Uttanasana. Just feel your heels here. And this forward bend is the, is the downward giving the upward, the lengthening the extension through the back of the legs and the hips. And the upper body cascading forward like a waterfall. Now use your legs like a ladder, so your hands come to the lower legs walking up, upper legs, if you feel any dizziness just stop for a moment and pause and then continue up. Next one, we bring the legs together, if they're not already, okay. and we're going to come up on the toes at the same time, touching the back of the hands and fingernails, and we press the fingertips right against the, the voice box, and the thyroid, okay, we're up on the toes, and then on the exhale, you drop down and throw the breath out with the hands, okay, clearing, clearing the neck. Inhaling up to balance, exhaling, throwing out. Good, that's it. Good. We go a little faster here. Good. Clearing all that's been said and unsaid between the heart and the head. One more. Good. Separate the feet. Relax, stabilize. If you're feeling dizzy, you can always cross the hands on top of the head. Already you'll feel inside on the tingling, sparkling of the life force and the empowered lungs and heart. Now step your legs a little wider than your mat. Last one of the eight is called placing the moon. So we bend a little bit deeper, so feel your thighs and the hands Hold the moon, nice round moon in front of the navel, okay? So navel point, belly button, it's down, okay? So then pressing down to go up, inhale, let's go to the left side, placing the moon, exhaling, back down in front of the navel, yeah? Inhaling, placing the moon up, that's it, good. So we go with, with creativity, with imagery, like if you taught this one to a child, for sure they would love that magical quality. I'm placing the moon, you know, wow, like that. You're into alignment with the sacred cycles and honoring.
smooth breath, exhaling through the mouth. takes away heat. Last side. Good. Hands in front of the navel. Spread your arms as though you're holding a great big ball. Stable and steady, magnetic, open. Shoulders drawing down and back. Thumbs rolling upward. Yeah. That, that helps to strengthen the arms. Good. And breathing into the inside of your arms. So you can feel like a ball expanding through the inner arms. Good. And then you're going to take your hands and on the exhale, bring your hands into the belly. Right hand first to the right side, left hand on top. Inside, coming up, across, and down the left, along the Cubic line and up, right, cross and down the left. It's called swimming with the dragons. Nine times. And this helps to balance the samana vayu, the movement of prana in the stomach and digestive system. It. And then with your hands in front of the body, come in front of the heart and circling. So massaging that subtle field in front of the heart. And then underneath the chin, you open, move your hands. You'll feel nice cooling coming underneath the chin, clearing away those spider webs that get caught in your beard. Yeah. That's it. Good. And then brushing your hands together, rubbing. Nice and warm. Place your hands over the eyes. <coughs> so as we've charged up the arms and the hands, it's a nice healing energy coming into the face, into the eyes. And exhale, soften your, your hands, slide them down the face, neck, chest belly and legs coming forward and stepping your legs back we're going to lie down for a moment on the back ah. That's it. feel how nice it is to Come back to the earth with your whole body. Yeah. Feeling the movement inside on the rivers. Life force. Smiling towards the body. Smiling towards the heart. Smiling towards the navel. 
smiling into the hips and the feet. Smiling into the brain and the eyes and the whole head. Notice how we, we feel good when we've, we've put forth some effort in the yoga to take care of ourselves. The same feeling like when you've had a shower and you're kind of clean and fresh. Right? In just 10 minutes. Rolling over onto the belly. We'll also relax on the belly for a moment. Sometimes we come right down onto the stomach and relax there. But yeah, let's visualize from the navel point, from the belly button, that you can extend down into the earth. I heard one teacher say, drill, drill down from your belly, okay? If that helps, <laughs> or you just sort of feel that you're nicely connected from your navel to the core of the earth. Feel also through the pubic bone. The pubic bone is connected to the earth. So grounded, as we're grounded, then we can safely expand. The next pose is Dhanurasana, the bow pose. So preparing for that. The mental preparation is just go real slowly and, and curious. Bending your knees, take hold of your feet. The ankles, then relax your head. Okay, so you're on the belly, relaxed, forehead on the ground. Inhale, and on the exhale, reach back through the legs and let the strong legs do the pulling. Now you're up on your belly. That's it. Smiling, soft eyes. Breathing. That's it, good. Empowering. Powering your heart. And one more deep breath. And exhale, softening down, relaxing your head. Good. Relaxing. Feel the immediate effects. Coming back into a child's pose. Mm -hmm. Head on the ground. Some deep breaths into your back, stretching the lower back. Mm. Walk your hands in towards the knees to come up on the knees. And preparing for Vashishtasana. We come to the knees, stretch out your left leg. This pose is not to be sabotaged by I can't do it and too weak. Okay? That right away will ruin it for you. Rather, let's go with, I can do it, okay? And let's see how it's done. So we come down with your, with your right arm. If you just look down the right arm, 
and you see your hand is just in front of the shoulder, okay? So we want that, so when we come up, then we'll have 90 degrees. If it's back in too close, it's gonna be hard to stand safely, uh, and it can hurt your wrist, okay? So look down your arm, hand a little bit in front of the shoulder, okay? Then take a bit more weight onto the hand, see if you can lift up the right knee, okay? And then if it's available, we slide it underneath the, the foot. If it's unavailable, just stay here in the first step. Okay? So make your feet nice and strong. Another one is to take the left foot in front and balance. Try that out. That takes, you know, like 50% of the weight from the arm. Yeah? And then we open up. Good. So really strong uh, lung stimulator. Okay? And hips coming up a little bit. Check your breath. One more breath. Good. Exhale. Take your left foot to the ground. Left hand. Come down on the knees. Hands in the lap. Good exhalation. <sighs> and just feel the effect immediately through the right side. Vishwamitra means the, the friend, the one who is the, the friend, sacred friend. It's also the name of a, of a rishi, okay, who had his big um, struggle was to, to be the friend of friends, to overcome enmity. And, uh, so then this pose is named after him. He did a lot of tapas, okay, so that takes empowering the heart, empowering the lungs. And have that and have the courage. Let's come to the other side. We come up on the knees, stretch out the right leg. Right foot, okay. Have a nice straight line. And come down with the left hand, okay. Look down your left arm, see the hand just in front of the, the shoulder, okay. So when we come up, we have 90 degrees. Then press into the right foot. Create that strength in the arm and the leg. Okay, left foot slides under. If you need support, right foot can come in front. Opening up. Good. Deep breaths, a few deep breaths. Remember, you can look down for more grounding. Looking up for more lighting. Looking at the lighting. Hmm. And exhale, coming down, good. Right foot, left leg, relax on the knees. <sighs> yeah, good feeling. Yeah. Just resonate in the, in the pose, the after pose. Another variation on that, on the Vishwa Mitra pose, kind of easier one that I also use in warm-ups, which gets these same lung points here, which you know, we put the hands back behind and then lifting up. And you'll feel that same nice strength through and right into the, the lungs. So let's just try that just to feel that also. That can be quite nice, inhaling up. Okay, so if you didn't have time to do the back bends and the Vishwamitra pose, then we do a few of these. Lifting the hips. Yeah. Call these hip lifters. Okay. Let's just tell it like it is. Yeah, good. And one more. Come forward onto your butt, cross legs. Mm. 
So, we're preparing for the elevated lotus. Okay. So, you see, maybe one leg crosses over. You can take your most flexible hip side and take that foot up. So, from underneath. Okay. Underneath, lift and pull it up and in. Okay. From underneath. And then the other side up. I know, okay? Not everybody's legs do that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you're not a yogi also, okay? It just means there's some situation in your hips that doesn't allow that just yet, okay? So you can also do it with the loose legs just by lifting and dropping. Let's say you're in the lotus, okay? So we're going to press strongly through the, the hands. Inhale. Exhale, press down, lifting up, inhale, good, so the whole thing is press down, lift up, drop, inhale, exhale, press down, lift up, drop, inhale, two more, press down, exhale, lift up, drop, one more, inhale, exhale, press down, lift up, and drop, good, and relax. It's calling that, that earth energy very quickly, so it comes, so you really feel the base of the spine, Muladhara. Okay. Release your legs. Come into Ardha Matsendrasana, the half seated twist. So, left knee is just in front of the left hip, the right foot coming across, crossing over. Okay. So, for me, this is m more difficult than the lotus because the tightness is in the outer hip. So, you try to keep the toes flat and press the knee in, okay? And then using your hand, left hand, to press against the knee to twist. And this might be just enough, could be a lovely pose for you. If you're looking for a deeper one, left hand goes up, inhale, and exhale. Bring the elbow down against the knee. And then you can put the left fingers on the lung point on the right inside shoulder. And just reminding that, that right shoulder to open. Okay. And find your way deeper, a little deeper, breath to breath. Now we add the sound, a D-Z sound combination to vibrate the upper back like this on the exhale. One more. back to center, take a rest. And feel the effects. It's a sensitive, more subtle perception with your heart. Beautiful moment given yes, to bathe in the effects of the yoga and appreciate what is given.
lean back a little bit so release your left leg cross it over the right Ardha Matsyandrasana half seated twist using the right hand against the knee to help and really turning in between the hip and the bottom of the lung so you're in the soft belly twisting to the left Okay, you want more twist? You bring the right elbow down to the inside. Shoulders go wide. Okay, maybe this right hand fingertips remind the left shoulder to go back. Okay. Drawing in the belly, squeezing in as you exhale. And then we make the sound, the dzz sound. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Not often you get a chance to say it like that, unless you're saying dessert in your own special way. Relaxing. Let's see the, the grounding of the base, legs and knees, hips. want to add to this series a summer yoga classic Viramaruti okay because invoking the the grace of Hanuman who is born of the wind okay Maruti and he has his Vira Maruti is strong like the wind is strong okay so invoking strength courage and devotion these are the the qualities of hanuman we love so bringing your hands together in front of the heart okay. and chanting together see the hands veera maruti gambhira maruti veera maruti gambhira maruti Bhakta Maruti, Parama Bhakta Maruti, Bhakta Maruti, Parama Bhakta Maruti, Vira Maruti, Gambira Maruti, Vira Maruti, Gambira Maruti. Bhakta Maruti, Parama Bhakta Maruti, Bhakta Maruti, Parama Bhakta Maruti, Vira Maruti, Gambira Maruti, Vira Maruti, Gambira Maruti, Bhakta Maruti, Parama Bhakta Bhakta Maruti, Bhakta Maruti, Parama Bhakta Maruti. Stay open, breathe. Bring the thumbs inside the, the palms and wrap your fingers around. So you're pulling down and through the elbows. Good. And keep that downward feeling of the shoulders drawing down and back. So you rest your hands to the knees. Palms can be open. Feel the dance in the heart. 
the inspiration. Nice, lifted and wonderful feeling of the heart being energized, available to live and love one prayerful day at a time. stretching out your legs in front, exhale, slide your hands down the outer legs for the feet, Paschimottanasana, forward bend, our head goes down, chin goes down, That's it. breathing into the back, slowing down, grounding. Allow your breath rhythm to come it's twice as slow as your normal breath. Long breath, slow breath. Okay, good, and coming gracefully down, sliding your hands strong in the core to help lie on your back. Preparation for Shavasana. We'll take eight to ten minutes rest. 